Hey everybody, it's Sunny Dia. Well, first of all, Marley's supposed to be back. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Yay. <laughs> to explain my hat, I have a hat on. It is cold outside, so it's appropriate. Um, anyways, the issue of the inner critic. And, uh, man. If you've got a really vocal one, like I do, <sighs> I feel your pain. Basically, I wanted to tell you guys my story because I know that um, no matter what, everybody's got a self-critic. Everybody's got that little inner voice in their head that may sometimes say, you can't do this, or you, you won't do this, or how could you even think that you even had the skills to do it in the first place? You know, just just tearing yourself down. And I had a paper to write and I procrastinated and I missed the deadline by literally a minute. One minute. But you guys know that with deadlines, a minute is a minute is a minute. Even one second one second past the deadline it's late and that's it so i was really distraught because it's midterms this is part of my midterm grade and instead of stopping to you know assess the situation i completely freaked out like i had a panic attack chest got tight breath got short all of that stuff and then this my inner critic started creeping up saying, you know, how could you have waited up until the last minute again to do something and you know how important this assignment was? Why do you keep putting yourself in that situation? Why do you keep on putting yourself in so much stress? You know that you procrastinate, you shouldn't procrastinate, but you do it anyways. And then it started escalating into like, maybe you don't, maybe you don't deserve to be in school. There are some people who would kill to be in school right now and you're over here wasting it. Yeah, like just stuff like that. And I literally had to tell myself, I felt, you know, I felt a little crazy, but I literally had to tell myself to shut up because sometimes as human beings, we can really, we can be mean to ourselves. We can be really, really mean to ourselves. And um, I know that there's other people out there who are just like me, who, you know, when things don't necessarily you know come up to par it just creates this this space for you know severe self-criticism i hear all the time that you know you are your worst enemy and for me that is true that is very true i am my harshest critic i said that i said this in maybe my giving up video i'm my harshest critic hands down guilty and sometimes you just gotta tell yourself to shut up. Do it right now. Do it, do it. Even if you don't need to do it, say, tell yourself to shut up. Isn't it weird? It's really weird, but in the moment, when your self-critic starts creeping up and telling you that you can't, or you won't, or you're not worthy, you're not beautiful enough, you're not smart enough, you know, not tall enough, not fit enough, not adequate, competent enough, tell them to shut up. See how that works. And let me know if that works for you. If not, we can definitely re revisit this because I'm sure that there's going to be something else this week that is going to give my self-critic a soapbox and Uh, let me know what your self-critic says, if you have one, that is, or if you didn't even notice that you did have one, and after watching this, you realize, yeah, you know, sometimes I do beat myself up about, about things. I just want you guys to know that I know the hardest person to deal with sometimes is yourself. So just take it one step at a time. It's not going to be overnight. You know, you're just gonna stomp out your self-critic in one night and then the next day they'll be gone. 
you know, it will happen, just not in a day. <laughs> because you, you're with yourself 24 seven, so it's not gonna happen in a day. But yeah, let me know if you guys, if uh, you guys that are watching, if you guys actually have a self-critic or not, you know, maybe you don't. But if you do, tell me. And also, if you, you know, what your self-critic tells you that you can't do. Um, what else? Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to uh, any new subscribers that I have. <laughs> I laugh because it's like two, but you two people, you two people are bomb. Y'all bomb. So, you want a shout out for me? You need to subscribe. <laughs> you need to like and comment. Talk to me. Oh, oh, also, shameless plug. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Sunthea. Was cathartic quite all right guys love ya stay sunny bye